She's 37 years old. She's a yoga instructor. I'm sitting here enjoying this beautiful weather. And she's from Trinidad and Tobago. Love you. She's an entrepreneur. She started her yoga business. She has a will to want more in life. Oh, Rashane, you were here with me. I always kind of had like in the back of my mind an idea perhaps that, hey, if she's what I think she is, I'm going to bring a ring just in case. And just in case did come to pass. I'll be coming to Kansas City, Missouri. Spend the rest of my life with you. Hello everybody, welcome back to Taste of Reality. My name is Queenie for those who don't know me and today's video is gonna be a little bit different. I was perusing the internet and saw some clips from 90 Day Fiance that got my gears turning. Okay, I have a lot of thoughts, I have a lot of feelings and I wanted to talk about them with y'all. 90 Day Fiance is a show that I used to watch but I kind of fell off like years ago so i don't know the full context of this couple i'm purely reacting to clips if there's more context that you need for uh if, there, if there's more context that you think i need in order to make a more sound judgment let me know in the comments below but as for right now make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell and let's react to this couple so the couple in question is Bilal and Shaida, right? So Bilal is American, Shaida is from Trinidad and Tobago. They met, I think two years ago from the time of filming. And the story with Bilal is he was married. He has two children in that past marriage. He's still in, he still has a good relationship with his ex-wife. However, they realized at some point the love wasn't there for them anymore. He felt like a failure of a husband, a failure of a father. But ultimately, seven years ago, they called the relationship quits. Two years ago from filming, he meets Shaida online. And the problem that his ex-wife has, and I think it's Sha Shahidi or Shahida, it's really close to his current um, fiance's name. She said on social media, Bilal has a tendency of being flashy, showing off his riches, if there aren't any, honestly. But, you know, just being, being out there with how much money he potentially makes, which sets a certain perspective about him, right? So her concern is, is this lady a gold digger or not? Brother, I know you be on Facebook flexing and all that other I stuff. I really don't. Yeah, you really Not do. So much. Women can be yeah. blinded by yeah. the lights, the glitz, and the glamour of For what sure. she thinks you have. She's never seen my house. She's never she doesn't seen know what she's about to be living at. No, she doesn't see like, you know, like even like when we video chat, you're looking at a wall. Like, I wanted to see if she was really in it for me, not just what I have. I have an issue with people claiming that other people are gold diggers, yet you yourself use your money as your personality. As I was seeing Bilal in all of these clips, literally the only thing that it seems like he brings to the table is money. And for some reason, whenever something is like out of whack in his relationship, he'll he'll say, you know, oh, well, you're supposed to take me as I am or whatever. Like, what if the money wasn't here? And what if whatever? Like, it seems like money is the only thing that he really can fall back on in his relationships. So I kind of saw that through the clips. If that's not the case, y'all let me know in the comments. But here we go. So the first situation that I saw was him picking Shaida up from the uh, from the airport where he used a dirty old work van and put her stuff in the back with garbage. It was, it was a mess. I thought it was this one. Oh, you thought this? No. Nah. Like, you, you didn't put my things in all this trash? What's that? You didn't put my things in all this trash. I think I see a little rat or something. That is my toolbox. What are you talking about? For context, when he visited her in Trinidad, and mind you, they've only been together physically seven days, he went and visited her for seven days. He showed up in luxury clothing, had luxury luggage. So he was still presenting as this wealthy person or at the very least well-off person. So why was he coming up to the airport kind of looking like he was a disheveled person when that wasn't how he presented himself in the beginning? To make matters worse, instead of taking her to the home that he actually lives in, he takes her to his childhood home, which is, in her words, dilapidated. So far, so good? So far, so good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see necessarily the peeling paint. The reality is people who live in his neighborhood like are great 
working class citizens and some of the people that I actually grew up with to this day, you know. If I did live here, would you still be with me? But seeing her reaction to the van, this might not go very well. Man, that's feeling. Yeah, I gotta get that done. It looks like it could collapse on us any moment <laughs> No. This is where the magic happens. I didn't hear. Okay. At the end of the day, it seems like he does all of this to show her, you know, if he came from humble beginnings, she's just gonna have to be okay with it. Yes and no, okay? Yes, because, you know, a lot of us can't change our past. A lot of us can't, you know, force ourselves to be born in a different socioeconomic environment. However, why are you testing this woman to kind of see, is she worthy of your love? Haven't you been together for two years? Haven't you been engaged for however long? Long enough to have applied for the K-1 visa and be on this damn show. So now you're in a relationship with somebody who you want to call your wife and you still want to test her loyalty? You still want to really dabble with her trust like that? That is so sick to me. Should she want you just for your money? No. But is money a factor in your relationship? Absolutely. You presented yourself to be one kind of way and then to kind of pull the wool over her eyes and kind of be like, oh, well, you're supposed to just be with me anyways. No, that's a lie. In the same way, how a lot of guys, and let's be honest, a lot of people like to equate physicality in women to the fiscal responsibility in men. So y'all want to complain about gold diggers and all this stuff. Y'all feel the same way when you feel like you've been catfished by a woman who only takes face pictures or takes pictures that make her seem like she's slim, but really she's bigger in person, a man will throw a fit if that happens. If a woman gains weight, it's the end of the world. Yeah, I'm just supposed to take you in a, in a destitute state. Like that just doesn't make sense to me. That's me, okay? I'm not putting this on y'all. It just doesn't make sense to me. So I found it very irritating that he thought, let me test this woman, let me test her loyalty, and let me see if she'll stay with me if the money isn't here. I left my family, I left my career, I left my home. The least you can provide for me is comfortability. It wasn't even the fact that he wasn't rolling in dough. This house was horrible. Like, look at the house again, please. Who was trying to live here? Who in their right mind would live in this place? And honestly, I'm quite shocked that he hasn't even renovated the place seeing that he still can. He has the money to do so, it's still standing. Why not, you know? zhuzh it up a bit. So miss me with the whole, oh, she's supposed to take me as I am. If, if I had nothing, she should still be here. No, absolutely not. Furthermore, he then decides to show her the real house that he lives in. And basically he had bought her all these gifts and stuff. And he just wanted to make sure that he was making the right decision in choosing a woman who wouldn't care what his money looked like. This is uh, the dining room area. I love it. You like it? <laughs> Eat, cook. Oh my God. The bar. I like area, it. Watch TV, movies. It's such a huge difference from the other house. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, yes. Let's say one day if I was a, a millionaire, as an example, yeah. and I lost everything, and I had to live like in a, a small studio apartment, like, would you be with me? Would yeah, you ride or die? Yeah, you upset. Yeah, you told me, yeah, 100%. So I wanted to see I if know. that was true. A part of the conversation that I wanted to get into is why does black love almost always equate struggle love? And I'm not saying this is like people purposely, you know, making black women or black men jump through, you know, these hoops that are just crazy but sometimes like we internalize the fact that oh if somebody was there for me through the struggle then they really deserve to be with me okay but sometimes the struggle is like it's struggling too much like when, nobody should have to be forced to struggle with you in the hopes that one day you're gonna make it and then when you do oh see that's what makes them worthy I shouldn't have to live in a home that looks like that it looks like it's roach infested it looks like there's mold in the ceilings it looks it literally looks like it could collapse on you in any second and if i stay in that that's proof that i truly do love you 
That's sick. I'm sorry, y'all. That is so sick. And then for somebody who it seems like all he has is uh, to his personality is money, I'd be careful. I'd be careful the things that you say to Shaida because, or Shaida, I think it's pronounced Shaida, because say something like the pandemic hits and money is funny and change is strange. What else do you have to your name? It seems like his personality is trash. It seems like he's not really that nurturing of a person. All he really brings to the table is money. The reality is, though, money can be fickle at times. You you can't think that, you know, money is the, 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 what's the word? The end all and be all. Like, once I have money, like, everything in life is good. Sure, if you're Bezos or Musk. You are not no Bezos. You are not no Musk. So don't be out here acting like, you know, oh, I'm good. I'm a perfect person because I got my money together. And then this wasn't even a part of this whole situation that I wanted to talk about. But there was a time when they were in the car and she was being, you know, she was kind of being irritated by the types of jokes he was playing. And he just was like, oh, she should be okay with it. However, when she was like, okay, well, this is how we joke where we're from. Oh, he was Livid. I want to get that booger out of your nose before you. Be I don't have the booger in my nose. Yeah, you got a no, booger in your nose. It's green and brownish. Oh, whatever. Look like I mean, maybe you have something stuck in your teeth. Look like you got a hair on it. No, I don't. Prank me about this booger in my nose. I hate this type of joke. That's an American Babe, thing. I'm a, I'm a that tell is you. not a Trinidad thing, you. and that is not my I'm type a, of humor. First we of all, we are touchy feely type of people. Yeah, we like to touch. I, you know yeah, that. Don't, yeah, don't do that. We to hit. Me. It's disrespectful we where I come from. Give you elbows. So keep your hands to yourself and watch your tone. Shida is being aggressive, and it's making me look at her in a different light. She's doing this as a joke, but it's a joke that I don't play. Mm. It's the double standard for me. It's the double standard for me. Maybe there's more to Bilal that, you know, can really sell his personality. But for right now, this man is toxic. This man is ignorant. Quite frankly, he's just annoying. And I'm sorry for her. I'm sorry for her. She wants children, most likely with him, since they're getting married. And I'm like, girl, have a serious talk with that ex-wife, okay? Ask her how things have been going before their divorce, during their marriage, after the divorce, all of it, because he ain't the one. If you ask me, he is not the one. You should not have to have your loyalty tested time and time again when you're already invested in getting married. Something the milk ain't clean. Anyways, y'all, let me know what you think about Bilal and Sh Shida. Shida in the comments below if there are other couples that you want me to react to send me either like clips or something because it was kind of hard to get enough clips to get the context of this couple or um just tell me which episode of um 90 day fiance to watch and i'll go watch it as always like comment share and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one